Hello, and welcome to EV Guide, the show that features YouTube's finest videos that we could find in about an hour. I'm Michelle Nunes, and on this episode, we're talking Mother's Day. Mother's Day, celebrated in the U.S. on the second Sunday of every May, remember that for later, has become the most popular day to like eat dinner at a restaurant, Hallmark does bang up business, and for proprietors of flower establishments, it's a pretty badass day as well. And jewelers and chocolate salesmen are also not complaining, but what you probably don't know is where it all started. It turns out that the holiday has its roots in the bloodiest war in U.S. history, Women's groups organized meetings between mothers whose sons and husbands died on opposite sides of the Civil War, and it was their way to advocate for peace. By having grieving mothers, who by all rights should consider each other the enemy, come together in genuine and symbolic fellowship. I'm skipping some steps, um, but that amazing idea is what eventually turned into what we now know as Mother's Day. It has its grassroots in Civil War peace movement in the late 1800s and became an official national holiday in 1914. Okay, and from all of that history, we get what? The most popular night to eat dinner at a restaurant. Yay, go us. This year, remember, it's on May 13th, people. And that doesn't really give you that much time to get your act together and do something. So, you should do something special for mothers everywhere because you know, look at what it's about. It's people crying and dying, right? So we're gonna suspend our judgment and we're gonna start small and help with the toughest thing about Mother's Day, which is remembering it. If you recall from earlier, it's always on, what? I'm sorry, what is that? Yes, the second Sunday in May, but there's no way you're gonna remember that until you improve your memory retention. And there are very simple ways to do that. If you wanna boost your memory, hit the dance floor. Why? Because dancing increases blood flow and your mind has to coordinate your movements to the music. And all that makes you sharper mentally. Mm, but if dancing and gum chewing aren't working for you, maybe consult a world memory champion? This is Andy Bell. In 2002, he was crowned world memory champion. And if that doesn't work, perhaps remembering just isn't your thing. I totally understand. I'm the same way. The brain can only hold so much information. But luckily, we have technology. An iPhone app with reminders is good, although you have to remember to actually put it in there to begin with, so that's not really the ideal piece of equipment for our purposes. How about this one? It's a whole app that tells you what holidays are coming up! probably does other things as well, but that's not really what's important here. This will work for you, right? But let's say that despite me telling you twice so far that Mother's Day is always on the second Sunday in May, and despite your newly improved memory and your fancy technological fail-safes, you still somehow like forget Mother's Day. It's okay, we have a solution. Mother's Day falls on different days around the world. Yeah different days of civil wars and blood and stuff. Not really, that's not really why. But you can just make up for it with trickery. Like just declare and tell your mom that this year, Mother's Day is gonna be internationally themed, right? So you move it to the last Sunday in May, and now you're celebrating as they do in France, Tunisia, and the Dominican Republic. And if you wanna like push it back a little further, you can celebrate it on June 1st, Mongolian style or honor your mom on the second Sunday in June like they do in Luxembourg. Mm -hmm. And in Thailand, they wait until August 12th. But you need to be careful because if you go like too far out, you're kind of in danger of repeating your first mistake, which is forgetting it altogether. So this year, remember, whenever you end up celebrating Mother's Day, you just remember where it came from. And if you don't have room in your brain for that, at least remember that it's the second Sunday in May every year. So do something nice for your mom. And if you came expecting some tips on what you should get for your mom, who has everything, we've got some of those too, don't worry. You just gotta check out the playlist for this episode. And it has complete versions of all the videos that we featured, plus a bunch that we didn't have time to get to, including gift ideas, uh, fancy meals that you can cook for her, that sort of stuff. Don't forget to tell all those other channels that we sent you to. And leave me a comment to suggest a topic for a future episode of the EV Guide. I'm Michelle Nunes, have a great week, and give your mom a hug for me. Bye.